This is a video about how to do a Google Docs assignment in Dr. Don's class. Let me start first with the why question. Why do this assignment? Well, we're engineers. We solve problems for clients. We figure things out and we apply critical thinking. So the purpose of these assignments is to learn how to figure things out, how to get things done, and how to do critical thinking. Now, we're engineers, and we like to do things in easy ways. So, I designed a template in Google Docs. And in the template, anytime you see the brackets, that means delete this and add your own information. I'm now in Google Docs. You'll notice the menu bar, just like Microsoft Word or many other programs. I've opened up the document that I want to edit. The first thing I want to deal with is the issue. The instruction says summarize the issue. What is the issue? What is the problem that you're trying to solve? So I click in, hit return. Oops, got it in the wrong spot. I hit return. And the issue or the problem I'm trying to figure out weight, and I'm going to put in newtons, so this is clear, of a typical, typical raindrop, period. Now I can go ahead and select the instruction and delete it. Now my reasoning, the instruction says you use deductive logic, list premises. So I can do that. Let me start with some deductive logic. First, I'm going to select the instruction and delete it. I'm going to go up to the menu bar and I'm going to get format and I'm going to find numbered list and I'm going to select this type of numbered list and I see that the font is too big and I see that this is a heading one so I'll select there and select normal text. And I see that I've made some mistakes. The conclusion heading got lost, so I'll back up. Come back in here, repeat the process, format, numbered list. I've got normal text, I'm good to go. Reasoning. So weight of anything on earth is given by w equals mg. That is certainly true. The value of g is 9.81 meters per second squared. That is certainly true. Now, mass m is given by m is equal to density times volume and the reason is density is mass per volume when I multiply by volume I'm going to get mass so that's a true statement now uh, density of liquid water is about 1000 kilograms per cubic meter that's a true statement And volume of a raindrop is given by pi d cubed over 6. And I see that I've got an assumption here. I'm assuming that the raindrop is a sphere. So I'll come up here to the top of my reason, reasoning and say assume a spherical raindrop. Okay, so I want to calculate this. I've got an equation for mass. I've got g. And in my equation for volume to calculate mass, I don't know a diameter of a raindrop. So I went on online to this website and I found this summary table. And this gives various types of raindrops. And I can see the drop size size varies from 0.5 millimeters up to a largest possible drop size of 5 mm. So I'm going to assume 
a drop size of about 2 mm as typical. And as a critical thinker, I want to give a citation. So I'm going to select the URL. I'm going to do a control copy or command copy on a, on a PC in order to get this. I'm going to go back to Google Docs and I'm going to come in here to my reasoning. Assume a spherical raindrop. Assume a diameter of 2 mm or 2e minus 3 meters. And I want to cite this. So I'm going to type in the word cite. I'm going to select that. And now I'm going to add a hyperlink. To do this, I'm going to use Command K. That would be Control K on a PC. I'm going to paste the link in and hit return. Now I've got a citation that justifies why I picked a two millimeter diameter drop. Excellent. Now I have everything I need to know to calculate the weight of a raindrop. So I did my calculation on a piece of paper with a pencil because that's much easier. And then I scanned it into my computer. And if you don't have a scanner, you can use a camera. Um, there's a variety of means to get a document into a computer. And notice I cropped it. And I want to pay a little attention to how big this is. And this is 782 kilobytes. And I could make it a little bit smaller, but this should be a small enough file to not cause any trouble. Now what I'm going to do is insert this into my Google document. I'm going to hit return and type in my calculation. I'll hit return, scroll up a little bit. I'm going to turn off the numbered list by clicking back on that. And then I'm going to select Center Align. And then I'm going to come up to the menu. I'll go to the Insert menu and Insert Image. I'll select Choose an Image to Upload. I'll come to my desktop, Calculation.png. And I can even drag the image in here, but this is slightly easier. So I'll choose my image. Now what I notice is my image is too big, so I'm going to select it. I see the blue handles and resize it. That's looking better. That looks about right. So I've now done my reasoning. So my conclusion. I'll select the instruction and delete it. The weight of a Typical rain drop is about 4.1 times 10 to the minus fifth newtons, and this is based on a 2 millimeter diameter. Summary With a Google Doc template, you can very quickly create beautiful output as I've shown here. And then when you're done, just go ahead and print this. I'll do a control print or command print since I'm on a Mac. And it saves a PDF file. I've got something I can uh, share with someone on my team or turn in for an assignment. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this video.